In this question, I've got a solution of sodium fluoride. It, of course, is a strong electrolyte, which means it will associate completely to yield sodium plus and fluoride minus one to one to one. It's added, I'm adding this dropwise to solution uh, that is uh, of barium fluoride. Sorry, so I've got barium fluoride. Barium fluoride is not a strong electrolyte, which means it dissociates roughly back and forth in an equilibrium way to yield barium cation and two molar equivalents of fluoride anion. So once again, this is the, uh, the setting that I've got. Uh, I'm adding a source of additional fluoride. So I'm going to basically be adding in sodium fluoride. That fluoride is going to go here or add directly into here and push this backwards. It will continue pushing this backwards until eventually we get enough backwards that this that becomes prevalent enough to precipitate out of solution as a solid. So the question is asking me how much fluoride do I have to add to make that uh, take effect. It gives me the KSP for barium uh, fluoride right here as being 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, the KSP value should be equal to this expression, the equilibrium concentration of barium 2 plus, plus, or multiplied by the equilibrium concentration of fluoride minus squared, because there's a 2 there, it becomes an exponent right there. Now, it also tells me uh, what the equilibrium concentration of barium 2 plus is. It gives me that number as being 0 0.0144 molar. So I have this number here already. Furthermore, it's asking me what uh, the value of F minus has to be in order to get precipitation to occur. That value, which I'll call x right here, is basically any value that ends up give, giving a number larger than this number, 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. So really all I have to do is solve for x and then say any number that's larger than x will give me a larger value than KSP and that will be too much fluoride to allow this to remain dissolved and we'll start to see this thing precipitate out. Does that make sense? So really all you have to do is solve for x right here and then say whatever x happens to be once you hit that concentration and go above it, you'll start to get precipitation of barium fluoride.